Hello everybody, it's Kitakio here. Today we'll bring you week uh, 4 of the PWC. Uh, we're actually going to have a video this time around because we play XRN. XRN is a really cool uh, friend of ours. And yeah, um, as you may see in the team builder before this video goes up, we uh, made some trades. And those mods are coming this game, so basically that's why I wanted to get out the trades video before. So yeah, first uh, let's list XRN team first, and then we'll get into a team builder. He has access to Mew, Lucario, Tentacruel, Talonflame, Rotom Mo, Tauros, Cygar 50, Skarmory, Stunfisk, Deliver, and Mega Audino. The six that I expect XRN to bring are Mew, Lucario for sure, because has a great matchup against me. Saigar, Skarmory, Mega Audino, and then the last one is a toss up between Tenacru and Talonflame. He could bring uh, something like uh, Tauros or Rotomo, but those those are the most that I'm expecting. So, yeah, we're gonna get into our team. First one we have here is Reuniclus holding a uh, Life Orb with the coverage of Psychic, Shadow Ball, Hidden Power, Ice, and Trick Room. This is a very standard set for a Uniclus, just 252 H max HP, max special attack, basically it's all I need. Uh, what I want this Reuniclus is to come late game, set up a trick room, and sweep or clean up XRN steam after everything's weakened. Uh, Psychic, Shadow Boy, and Hidden Power Ice hits a lot of his team. Um, yeah, I feel like he hits everything but the Skarmory, which is, I wanted to put Thunder. But hidden power ice was too nice because he just completely echoed the Saigar 50%. So that's what I went with this set. And trick room, it makes me faster than his entire team. Oh, when I set it up, of course. And yeah, next one we have is uh, Gliscor holding a Toxic Corp. A very complex set for this Gliscor, but it's um, this is a very important one on my team. Basically, this is the only thing on my roster to take on Saigar, even Lucario, and Talonflame, which are some of the XRN's harder, hard hitting mons. We are packing Earthquake Taunt, Toxic Roost. Before I have uh, Ice Fang over Toxic, but um, I realized that Toxic was very good. Also, we can Toxic Mew in case it's some type of a combine variant or something like that, and that would be very nice to wear it down. Earthquake just hits everything uh, except the Talonflame, but we would toxic that. And yeah, we can touch the Skarmory, but we can taunt it, and then he cannot do anything to us. i lower the volume real quick. Our spread is we leave uh, uh, from full health, we leave two choice banded thousand arrows, I think it is, from Saigar. Um, and it's it sh it's a roll, should be a roll. Uh, to leave uh, outrage to for two Hekeo is what I meant. So yeah, we'll consider leave a uh, C outrage in case it's that type of set. And you know we can always toxic it, boost it off and something. Uh, the attack there, I know this attack matter for something. I think it's to Oko uh, non a uh, non HP Lucario, just 12 BBs on attack, just so so I don't make it a roll, something like that. The spread. I think that's randomly throw there for <sighs> what was this PDF for? I think this PDF is just we leave one leaf term from a choice scarf leaf storm leaf storm leaf storm fuck wrote a mo and the speed is to creep something that I can't remember. So yeah, next up we have Mega Diancy, uh, which is also making his debut again uh, with Ray Nicholas. With Moomblast, Power Jump, er, Power, and Stealth Rocks. Basically, this coverage is the entire of uh, x Steam. team. Stealth Rocks is just there as a filler move because, um, like, I couldn't fit Stealth Rocks in any of my other mods. Um, and yeah, like Moomblast, Power Jump, Earth Power is all I need. That hits the entire of his team, barring Skarmory. Like, I was suspecting a spread after Skarmory to come, but uh, if it does come, then we're still doing like 40% with power gems, so after rocks and chip damage, we can easily 2 hit KO with Diancy. So Diancy very important when con. The speed is to speed uh, 
just the max speed timid mew and tenacruel and yeah that's about it i mean taurus he we go speed high but i'm not looking forward to that i really don't like speed highs next up we have Larios holding oh shout outs to the open jellison by the way for this set because I was so unsure of what Ladio said to bring, so I just asked him for for help and what Ladio said could bring. And this is what I came up with. Uh, he initially had Timmy Ladios, Ladios though, and, but we changed it to Modest. Because we don't think he'll be bringing Max, H, Max uh, Speed, Mew, or Tenacru if he does bring it. So we're bringing Modest to enough to speed a Jolly Zygarde. And yeah. I think that's solid out speeds. It's back in Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, Delwin, and Psychic. Basically, uh, Psychic is very good against Cern. Like Psychic Ghost. Like that coverage hits a lot of his team. And then Ice Beam there is obviously for the Saigar. Uh It also hits the, the Skarmory for a decent amount of damage. But I think Shadow Ball does more. But we're holding a Ghost team. See, this is basically our Mew answer. Uh, I'm sorry. We have Telwin in case Ladius is about to go down, so Telwin is very nicely. And yeah, I don't think there's much else to say about this Ladius. Next up, we have uh, Heatran. You already saw my last month there. <laughs> we are bringing uh, this one. Uh, okay, so I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring Heatran. Because uh, he has a uh, Lucario, he has a Tenacru, he has a Tauros, he has a Saigar. He has a lot of shit for Heatran, but I want to out of lose to a Skarmory. So I feel like I was kind of forced to bring it because it dealt with Skarmory and Mega Audino very well. Uh, which is back in Lava Plume, Roar, Energy Power, and Flash Cannon. Initially, I had it Hidden Power Ice instead of Roar, but uh, we ended up changing it because I felt like if there was any scenario when he tried to set up uh, Frail, he's like, okay, I can freely set up on this Heatran. And we can roar him out, then that will be awesome because then Saigar will lose all his boost. Uh, Shukaberry with the defense and HP investment we have, which is 44 MP, 240 HP, allows us to leave a plus one. Uh, I think Jolly, or I don't remember if it was Jolly or not, but through Shukaberry allows us to leave a plus 1000 arrows, which is kind of insane. I mean, of course, we will have to be a full health because it does like 99 max, some crazy shit like that. I think it's a roll. I don't know. But yeah, definitely Heatra is not the best bring, but I just brought it just so I don't auto lose to Skarmory or the um, Audino. Also does well against the the Rotom Mo. And the rest is just thrown special attack just so the damage do a little more. And she power for Talon Flame. So it doesn't like beats us. Next up we have a Choice Car Ferro Cross and this is one of our best late game win cons. Uh, choice Curve Moxie with Close Combat, Mega Horn, Earthquake, Rock Slide. Rock slide. Uh, I didn't put Stun Edge, I put Rock Slide instead because uh, Stun Edge, um, like it does jack shit to Skarmor anyways, Close Combat does more. So I put Rock Slide in case, uh, you know, Talonflame already lost his priority because of the way it was nerfed this generation. And I didn't want to miss a uh, risk, a miss with Stun Edge. So Rock Slide is just there for that. Uh, Earthquake, Mega Horn, and Close Combat hit the entire of his team. Uh, I kind of had to play around with mind games and predicting which one's gonna come in. But yeah, uh, hopefully late game her Chris just wins. Uh, 232 Jolly uh, outspeeds any anything I want to outspeed, I think. I think this outspeeds a choice card for the Mo. I'm pretty sure that it was for that. I might be wrong. I think it also uh, the Spet Crip uh, Adamant Max Adamant Choice Scarf. Well, not Choice Scarf, plus one Saigar. I think that's the speed. And make close combat is just very spammable. So, yeah, that's the team for this week. Maybe we'll get right into the battle. See how it went down. So, we got the battle right here. As Exoran, he brought the Saigar, Tauros, Mew, Delibird. Yeah, Delibird. <laughs> uh, fucking Skarmory and Lucario. Suspected four of those mods, obviously Saiger, Mew, Skarmory, Lucario. I thought Tauros might come, but I was leaning more to uh, Talonflame. And then he fucking brought Delibird. He fucking brought Delibird, dude. 
I never played this thing in my life. I don't even know what it does. Yeah, I expect to make an audio instead of that. So we'll get right into the battle and see how things went down. He led with a Taurus. I led with a Heatran because because I see no Talon Flame. Oh shit, okay. I see no Talon Flame and no Mega Audino. What happened to music? Alright, there you go. I see no Talon Flame and no Mega Audino. Heatran's definitely not gonna do much this game so he dies to everything else. Uh, even though I do say that they defeated for um, the Saigar and shit, but I didn't have good, good uh, fucking leads. I guess if I let Heracross, that would have been good. But uh, yeah, we're gonna lead Heatran. He actually goes for a quick route the bat, reveals to be Life Orb. We go for the Lava Plume and we get a burn. Okay, this burn is, could matter, but as you're gonna see why it did not. It didn't matter because I stayed in. Here, should have swapped into a um, Heracross, but I was 100% sure this thing was somehow mixed with like Ice Beam and Fire Blast because that hits my team as well with Earthquake. So yeah, it didn't matter in the sense that I stayed in and let uh, Heatran die anyways. So yeah, because we both go down. Uh, if he didn't get burned, he would still have the Taurus. So I would have had to go into the Heracross to revenge kill it. But that would have given me an, a Moxie boost. So it matter, but not not like game changing. Game changing. So he goes into this fucking thing, right? He goes into the deli bird. I'm like, what? Well, fuck. Can't stay in because it's gonna for ice step attack. So I'm switching to uh, switch into the Dianzi. Di so I'm like, okay, this this is gonna take this well. And he goes for ice punch, and that does 37 percent. Have in mind, before Dianzi Mega Balls, he has like 170 defense and. Better and better, might be 170, 160, something like that. And I was like, What the fuck is this? This is Choice Bandit Belly Bird. And then I'm uh, I'm like, Okay, cool, I'm just gonna kill it this turn. I'm gonna go for a power gym, he does like good switches, and he's focus sash. And I'm just throw hitting myself on the head, like, What the fuck? Uh, obviously, as I make a ball, I lose uh, the defenses because it switches from defense to attacks, and it has hustle. And I didn't even know this monk got hustle. Which is kind of funny to be honest, because I never played it, so yeah, <laughs> fucking deliberate dude. And for my surprise, it also has Ice Shard, which I didn't even know it get. I know deliberate is like a spiker, and it gets the fog at rapid spin, but I fucking never faced an offensive deliberate before. So my Mega Dayansi, one of my best win cons, go down to a fucking deliberate. So we're gonna go into Latios. We're gonna go into Latios, cause. We want to take damage on Heracross because that's the best uh, Lucario answer. Gliscor obviously would drop. And uh, this thing also can do a lot of damage to Reuniclus. So Latios here is actually my best play because we have speed. But he does get a lot of damage with the Ice Shard. He gets 57%. So this fucking Delibird just got killed a Mega Diancy and got 57% off with a, with a fucking two Latios with a Delibird. So he's gonna go into Mew. We're just Trey gonna go for the Ghost DMC. If this is offensive, it dies, but nope, it shows his max SPF Mew, which is kinda annoying. But uh, there's nothing they can do about that. So we're not looking too hot right now. So we're gonna go into Hero Cross. And here, uh, I'm just gonna click Mega Horn, be safe. Because if it goes Skarmory, I can just go Gliscor next turn, activate my uh, Toxic Corp, and we'll go from there. Which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into Gliscor as he actually doubles out into Lucario, which is a good play for CERN. Definitely good play here. We can leave an Ice Punch, but I kinda want to scout for the C Ice Punch for the Sub Zero Slammers. We're actually gonna switch into the Heracross here. As he does reveal, he goes for regular Ice Punch. So I'm like, okay, that's no problem. So now we're gonna go for a close combat, right? And we get a critical hit. This crit, because uh, I asked uh, XRN after the game, this is Karmory with max HP, max, max physical defense, so this crit did matter, because if it was SPF like I expected, uh, it was a roll to 2 hit KO, but it wasn't, it was a physical, def physically defensive Skarmory. So this crit matter, 100%. Uh, but you're gonna see, you're gonna see later on what happens, so we actually gonna be able to kill the Skarmory here 
with the next close combat. So very unfortunate we get that crit. Because now Skarmory, which is was the wall for her cross, is now gone. So he goes into Saiga, right? Here the extreme speed is very obvious. So we're gonna pull into Gliscor. If he starts setting up, then we can taunt it right away. So not to worry about that. He goes for extreme speed. Does a nice 25%. That reveals to be Choice Bandit, by the way. We're gonna for Toxic. Because he's not switching Lucario. There's no way in hell. So Mew was definitely the obvious switch in here. And here I'm looking, I'm thinking to myself, all right, if this Mew has some type of setup move like Coal Mine, or even if he has Roost, it cannot beat me, it cannot beat my Rainy Close 1v1, even if he has Shadow Ball, because it would just die to Toxic eventually. It can, it can boost and rest up at the same time. So, my play here is going into Rainy Close, uh, set up the Trick Room as long as this Mew doesn't have Taunt. And gone from there so we're gonna do that we're gonna pull out into the rayoniclus and he freezes me <laughs> uh honestly if i would have traded the crit for the freeze i would have done that a hundred percent of the time because uh, okay so i talked to xr after the game it was really cool like you know, I was kind of more mad when a fucking Storm freeze me, but when x and he freeze me, uh, it's kind of hex for hex, because I did create uh, his Karmory, which allowed him to uh, allow my Heracross to be a threat to his team, so... Yeah, uh, I talked to him, and he does not have taunt, okay? He didn't have taunt, he said was Coal Mine, Coal Mine, Roost, Earth Power, and Nice Beam, which means uh, Ray Nicholas would have won, at this point in the game, uh, let me explain you how. So, I bring Ray Nicholas. Let's see if that doesn't kill me, right? We go, we set up a trick room. I, even if he roosts us up, we just uh, Shadow Ball next turn and Shadow Ball plus Toxic takes us out. We still have three more turns. He goes into Psyker or whatever. He extreme speeds. Gets like 40% off on this because he's chosen by the Psyker. But we kill it with HPIs. He goes into Lucario, bullet punches. Uh, it doesn't kill and we just kill it with Psychic. So, Essentially, we won without this, but hacks for hacks is part of the game. There's nothing I can do about it. So, yeah, he unfortunately is gonna freeze me. I'm gonna stay in, hoping I thaw. Obviously, going for trick room here because, like I said, that would have been able to clean the game later on. Uh, actually, no, never mind. At this point in the game, I didn't know if this Lucario was Sash. So, I'm like, okay, it might be Sash. So, we're gonna switch into her across uh, scouting. For a dark type move, and he goes for the C black hole eclipse. So, um, yeah, does a lot of damage here. I, well, after the crit, my mind was kind of blank out. Like, I'm like, well, you know, kind of you get kind of upset, like, even if you like it or not. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go here across. Then I knew this thing was probably carrying bullet punch for Diancy, but uh, here my play would have been to go into Gliscor and then proceed to uh, Earthquake afterwards. So maybe that wouldn't help my uh, this late game, but no, I'm just gonna stay in. I'm gonna die off to the bullet punch. Um, here's gonna for ash punch, cause we are fully fist death Gliscor. Well, nearly full. We're gonna take that. We're gonna go for a quick kill of this Lucario. Incoming Saigar. Yeah, incoming Saigar. I'm unfortunately on range for the outrage here at this point. So yeah, there's nothing. Also, Reuniclus drops to it, so it's not like. I would have lived and wake up or something like that. So I'm a sacred unit close. I'm a good score, hoping he gets like absolute mineral or something, but nope, just gonna take me out. So oh, GG to CERN. Well played. He played he played really well. He definitely threw me off with the fucking Delibur. Tauros was a great brain too, because I didn't prep for it, I didn't expect it. And yeah. Yeah, nonetheless, the crit the crit was definitely unfortunate for him and the freeze was just dreadful to me because I, I think I personally think this is my opinion I think I won the game at that point but hex is hex it happens uh, this is two times I've gotten frozen uh, two weeks in a row so yeah let's hope it doesn't happen next week because I'm gonna be pretty upset this puts me at a um, one in three record one win three losses with a minus three differential so that's kind of unfortunate uh, but yeah, next opponent is Geo, which is not doing so hot. He's zero and four, 
So def definitely if we can win that game, we can pick some momentum. Uh, and try to go from there, trying to recover this terrible, terrible early season. And maybe, maybe just get a shot at playoff. But things are looking very slim for us. I do have a lot of faith in these new months I picked up. The Mega Dance and Reuniclus are very strong months. I'm sorry, and I'm hoping they can uh, they can pull me through this hole. So yeah, this was everything for this video. This was Shishkitakio. Like I say, next week we play Kyle, aka Gio. And thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Oh wait, uh, yeah, check out the PWC channel. We have really cool shows and stuff. I'll leave down the link in the description. See you later. Bye bye.